Do you have five minutes for Jesus? If yes, then please watch this God is saying to you today. Tonight as I prayed, I felt change in the wind. Someone's life is about to be beautiful again. Someone's life is about to completely turn around. Someone is about to get the call, the text, the email, the news they've been waiting on. Someone's desire is about to manifest in the natural. Someone's cry has gotten the attention of the Father. Someone's life is transitioning, even as I type this. Someone will open their eyes to a brand new season. Someone will wake up tomorrow with their good news, and I'm so happy for you. You're coming out of this, child of God. This is not your permanent place, but a small chapter in your glorious story. There is so much life, love, and joy beyond this chapter. Your best chapters are ahead of you. Lift your head and praise the Lord, knowing that something wonderful is about to come from this season of uncertainty. So much glory will come from your future marriage. Don't give up in the waiting, or you will miss the miracle. Today marks the day that it changes for someone reading this. I see change as the season is also changing. I see a marvelous transition like a butterfly. I see a brand new place being birthed as the leaves begin to fall. Truly, life is beginning again this fall. God said that it will be a rebirth. You can donate us super thanks to support our channel. I hope that you never again have to feel like you aren't enough. I pray that the next love you encounter is a gentle touch from heaven. You couldn't birth the promise. You've been in a barren season for some time if that's you. If you know it's time to birth the promise, but you've been barren, then this is for you. He make the, the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. No marriage is perfect, but a marriage blessed by God is always beautiful. Imagine getting to share your life with someone that wants to seek Christ with you. Image getting to spend your life with someone that God intended to love you. Worldly relationships are overrated. Wait on God. May heaven open to you today. I feel a shift in the atmosphere. God will be doing very specific and strategic things in your life. You will soon get an opportunity you will know is from God. This opportunity will change the game for you for the rest of your life. Even today, opportunities will fall from heaven. And child, you will know. The hand of God will be all over it. Even if you're not seeing results, pray. Pray anyway. I promise you that breakthrough will come. It's impossible to seek Him and never see Him move. And you never know when your faith will get His attention and change everything. One word from His mouth can change your life. When it feels hopeless, you must remember that you're not reaching out to flesh, you're reaching out to the King of the world. He is able. Tonight, while I was praying, God gave me a vision of a large golden clock. The clock was ticking, and then suddenly struck twelve, and began to chime loudly. And God said, It's time. For someone this morning, dot dot dot, it is your time. You have completed your assignment and are ready to see the other side. I congratulate you. A relationship blessed by God is worth the wait. I know you want it now, but you're worth more than mediocre. Time hurts. Waiting hurts. Watching others fall in love hurts too. But wasting time with the wrong person hurts even worse. God has your story already written. He knows who you're going to marry. Rest in knowing that your time is coming, and you will be so glad you didn't settle. Beyond the doubt and confusion, God is setting you up for your greatest victory. You're about to see Him move. God said, I know it's been silent. I know I have been quiet, but I've been observing you. 
I felt this so heavy as I prayed. It brought me to tears. And then God said, It's about to get loud. The silence is about to end. Lord, I thank you in advance for my future spouse. I pray that you use this time to prepare us for the beautiful marriage you have for us. Let us know one another by spirit, so we're aware when you present us to each other. Guard our heart in the waiting and block each and every distraction. You are so good and faithful to your promises. Something is stirring. Something is moving. There is an awakening and a quickening. Some of you need to stay in position. God is scanning the earth for ready hearts. Kingdom marriages are needed. He is pairing couples for your blessing, but also for His glory. Kingdom couples are coming forth, and these couples are not ordinary, they are power couples. Type yes if you believe, but child, you don't have to have it all together to receive all of the good things the Father has for you. He is able to bless you right where you're at. In fact, He specializes in turning lives around suddenly, and I pray this is you. I pray that you wake up tomorrow morning with a fresh wind that changes the whole trajectory of your life. I pray that tomorrow starts your brand new beautiful beginning. The person that God has for you will love you, honor you, and respect you. You are worthy of being loved. You are worthy of being respected. You are worthy of being endlessly pursued. Don't settle when you feel that true love is out of reach. It is coming. You desires aren't far, child of God. The Father knows that you're eager. He knows what weighs heavy on your heart when the world is quiet, and He has every intention to manifest them according to His perfect timing and will. God is saying to you today, you are about to see the place I've been preparing for you and you're going to know why the fight was so hard. Some of you have been so blinded by the enemy that you have forgotten the promise he spoke over your life. You have forgotten that there is a place he has prepared for you beyond the journey. This is the season God is bringing you to the place he has been preparing, and you're going to finally under the why the fight was so hard. You will be thankful for the pain and trials that led to the glorious place He has for you. God hasn't left you in the valley, child. In fact, your desires are heavy on His heart. They matter to your Heavenly Father. He hasn't forgotten you. While with the Lord, He took me to a serene place. In front of me, there was a door, and He handed me a large key and said, Here is the key to your promised place. Brothers and sisters, he is giving you access to your promised place. You got the word some time ago. You've envisioned it. Your spirit is sensing the arrival of it. I know how you feel. You can't shake the feeling that everything is about to change, and that's because it is. Your spirit isn't wrong. You're about to see it in the natural. And though the journey is long, and your hope has faded, that's not going to stop your beautiful promise from coming to pass. Every word spoken will come to pass when the time is right. It's impossible for God to fail. You're moments away from your greatest victory. Hold on, your kingdom marriage will bless the lives of many, because it will be highly favored by the King, purpose driven. It must come now. It must come now. Hindrances must fall. Distractions must flee. Nothing can block your blessing anymore. You are entering into your promised place this year with no more hindrances or delays. Singles, God placed that desire in your heart for a reason. Seek first His kingdom and watch Him introduce you to someone that loves you unconditionally and prays with you. I'm currently in prayer, and God said, tell them that I am sending a second wind of opportunity. Some of you thought you had missed an opportunity 
that was important for your destiny. But God is sending a second wind of opportunity. You didn't miss it, child of God. It's coming. Receive it. Your next love will show you why it never worked out with anyone else. God is sending a real one this time around. You will finally be able to say, I know this one is from God. Share this if it blessed you. Subscribe this channel for more blessing. Type Amen if you agree.